Yeah, yeah first introduce yourself, so. Yes, um, Dr. Nicholas Mixer, the Deputy National Coordinator for National Energy Platform at the Ministry of Energy. Uh, I'm here to speak about solar energy. In, uh, I think solar is no longer a new word to many Ugandans. Most people have already used solar. Either through those that have gone to school, they have so solar powered calculators. Uh, some people have bought plug and play systems, the small mobile uh, charging uh, solar systems. But over the years, the trends have grown. And we appreciate as a country the contribution of solar to the entire education of the country. That today, government will, will report that reports about 57% uh, of uh, Ugandans have access to electricity, where uh, those that are accessing through the national grid about 19, and the off-grid, which is mainly solar-powered, contributes 38%. So that tells you how much uh, off-grid and particular solar is doing in this country, both in the home solar systems, but as well as mini-grids. And uh, the country so far has a couple of mini-grid uh, systems that have been put across the country. We have uh, one uh, that is being presented, discussed today, about utilities 2.0 that was implemented by a consortium of different actors, led by powerful, a powerful all having their in Lokofela Foundation, uh, uh, Umeme, Enagro, uh, Equatorial Power, and others. So you find that uh, people, solar is gaining more interest across the, uh, the country. And people have also appreciated that we all need energy, we need electricity. We are gone at the days of using uh, candles, tadobas, munaku tadoba, you know. These days, everyone wants a clean environment. We do not blame the uh, candles and the uh, tadobas. They also played their role, because that was then. But now, technology has advanced. And also, previously, solar was looked at as an expensive technology, but over time, different systems have come up that are affordable, uh, low price, but efficient and reliable. But also now, uh, many companies in the private sector have embraced uh, pay-as-you-go, where someone can uh, uh, acquire a system, no matter how expensive or its price might be, if the price is a, uh, a, a broken down for them to afford. So a system that would have cost $2 million, someone can pay for it for over a year. I know instead of paying two million up front, they might end up maybe paying 2.2, but at least structured across a year. And uh, if you move around uh, the country, you find that most people, even those that have actual access to the national grid, have embraced solar at some point. So, and as a country, we have a good solar resource of close to 5.4 kilowatt hours per square meter, you know, and uh, that's something that everyone should pride in that you, there is a bit of assurance across the country that you can get or you can invest solar energy any day, at least 300 days out of 365 days of a year, which is not the, the case for other countries like in Europe where they experience uh, uh, four seasons a year. For us here, we, go, we are at least expect to have sunshine on average every day of the, of the year. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Mokisa.